This water is still going the wrong way. It should not be spilling onto West 62nd Street between Columbus and Broadway, pumped from the basement of the closest apartment building. This is really just a drip compared to the gush that started around 5 a.m. Monday. Here's the morning scene at PJ Clark's, a restaurant a block away from the main break. How about for dinner? We had a few hours of uh, sweeping out some water and drying things off with fans and uh, washing things down so we can uh, be clean and ready to go for dinner service. It was a big pipe that broke, 36 inch water main, and it's not an uncommon occurrence. Hey, this is an old city. You know, so much of New York was built up in the middle or the early part of the 20th century, and we are playing catch up. The Center for an Urban Future issued a report in August about NYC infrastructure, looking at issues, problems, and funding. NYC had 460 water main breaks in 2019 and has had at least 400 in eight of the past 10 years. The center says data show NYC has made progress in replacing water mains the last two years and doubled funding for projects. Replacement rate for water mains has increased in the last couple of years, but we're still way behind. Uh, there were a number of years, even under the, this last administration, when uh, we weren't investing enough every year in water mains and we fell behind. It makes a mess. The break meant the 123 was shut down near Lincoln Center and rerouted for the morning commute. MTA New York City Transit's Instagram shows how transit crews open and inspect 72 signals and 12 switches that were underwater. The sidewalks out here, some of uh, the garbage piles are uh, covered in some of that uh, NYC slime. The crews have to break through now into the road, get a look at the pipe before they can figure out the cause exactly. But uh, the uh, DEP uh, commissioner did say weather fluctuations do contribute to these things. Live on the Upper West Side, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.